Uh, Gene brings us to our first question this week. He says, I've heard you all talk about the importance of backing up our devices. I replaced an old PC with an M2 Mac Mini, which is great. Do I need to get a second external drive for the Mini for Time Machine, or do I even need to bother backing up at all? I think I've talked about this, but I, I got burned many, many years ago with a photo library. Mm. And when you get burned, then you learn, you know, my own fault wasn't backing up and uh, lost, you know, precious photos. And, and so ever since then, I have been fanatical about backup. I follow the philosophy. If it's not in three places, it's not really backed up that whole, that whole thing. And so I went all in on backup and I've been that way for years and years and years and years. So my personal opinion is yes, you need at least a backup. And I, and I've said this on my show, I think time machine, if you're not doing anything else, Get a time machine drive. My general rule is d- double get one double the size of your internal drive because that'll give you enough little history in there. Plug it in. It will ask you the question, do you want to use this for time machine? You say yes, you are done for that machine. Obviously, with time machine, if you're direct connecting, you've got to do it for each machine. It's a little bit more difficult. I have this problem with my family, right? They they use laptops. They never plug them in. I have time machine drives for that. It's like... I have to remind them, have you plugged in your time machine drive recently? Like once a week, plug it in. Like you don't have to get crazy about it like I am, but I think, yes, I, you want a form of backup and how far you take it. That's maybe the other part of this discussion in my, in my opinion. The question is to whether users, we as users need to take any steps that one would call backing up. I'm not convinced we need that anymore. And, you know, your family's scenario with, with, with that you described where they all have laptops. And so you can't just plug a drive into their machine and expect it to be plugged in again later without pestering your family. That's m- common for most people now, right? Most computers yep. are laptops. And, and then we have these other things that are computers called phones and iPads and vision pros. Right. And so, do they store data on them? Yes. You know, do you back up your phone? I, I I don't know. Do you like you can back up to iCloud. Is that enough? Hmm. I would say that most people, if you get a Mac or a, an iPhone out of the box and you set it up, you connect it to, to iCloud and you use it as default with, uh, I, uh, maybe I say as default, if you use it with document syncing turned on, I, and I, I, I don't know if that's the default anymore. No, I, I think you have to turn it on. I think you have to turn it on. So not default, but if you turn on iCloud document and data syncing, which almost certainly requires a paid iCloud plan to get enough storage to do that, then I don't like, then I think you're fairly well covered. I'm not saying that choosing to add another layer of backup is bad. It's never bad. I do, yeah. but that is what most people are doing. And I think that that's enough for most people to be covered in most cases. Uh, you can certainly outsmart yourself by saving things outside of your documents or desktop folder. Even once you have syncing turned on, it will warn you though. Your Mac will warn you if you drag a file from your documents folder to somewhere else, if it's being synced, it'll say, Hey, do you sure you want to take this off your iCloud drive? Which is good. Yeah. So yeah. You're I, gonna I lose it. If yeah. Yeah. So yeah. There are steps to take, but if you're syncing your documents via some syncing service, and I know people argue sync is not backup, and and I agree with that, but it is a form of, like, it's another copy of your data until you delete it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 that said, I absolutely still make sure I use Time Machine uh, at least on all of my Macs, including my laptop. So, yeah. You know, and especially... It, for the valuable data that you cannot replace. You know, I had neighbors that lost all their photos years yeah. ago because it was on one hard drive. And I mean, you know, kids' photos gone and they that didn't sucks. have but one digital copy of it. No, it does suck. And it's, yep. please, but, you know, for that data that's like that, absolutely, three, two, one. Um, well, but iCloud Photo, do you need, if you have iCloud Photo Library. Yeah, this is, this is fair enough. That was pre iCloud Photo. Exactly. But I'm wondering, does a, uh, you know, does a ransomware get in there? And, and hose you because it's connected. Yeah. You no, know, so fair. having one that you can disconnect. Well, and you're putting a lot of trust in Apple, 
right? And not to say that they don't have yeah. backups of backups of backups. I mean, right? But you're still relying on yes. iCloud. So if iCloud yeah. borks one day for whatever reason, you know, because they're not a target I, of them. You know, yeah, <laughs> like, Apple's not you know, a target. You know, but they have it in multiple. I like. I trust that they're probably not. They probably have a robust system enough now where there's they have their own backups. There's multiple yeah. locations. Like sure. they, I'm sure the engineers have thought of this. But again, you are putting your faith. Yes. In iCloud, hundred percent. So if you're okay with that and you think that's that's good, then I like I just prefer the my mental even just mentally knowing that yeah. okay they have a copy, I have a copy. So if I screw up, I can use theirs. If they screw up, I can use mine. Like yep, no, <laughs> I more. do the same thing. <laughs> I, I do exactly the same thing. I would bet, and I, I suppose owning some Apple stock, I do bet this money. Uh, I would bet money that. Apple has gone out of their way to ensure that any given user's photos will never get comp get lost or damaged or, or whatever uh, uh, with iCloud because all it takes is once and then it makes the news and spreads like wildfire and that's it. People like the world doesn't trust Apple with their data anymore. And that would be awful. Yeah, but remember for the music, Apple, the music yeah. library thing happened, right? Where yeah, iTunes music library borked a bunch of people's like uploaded audio. So it did. But but <laughs> it, as terrible as that is, and that was uh, that was uh, like uh, the most ham fisted thing we've seen Apple do. Right? Was yeah. that for most people, the audio that they lost was audio that was recoverable in some other way because it was recorded by someone else, right? These right. are songs, yeah, yeah. right? Whereas your photos, you made those. There is <laughs> no other like, oh, well, that sucks that I have to go through this major headache, but I can still get that song again. Like, I, I know there were yeah. some people that lost original music and that, like, that's yeah. awful. But most of the people that were affected by that, it was you know, songs that were commercially available. So yeah, major I mean, inconvenience, but not disaster inconvenience, not disaster. Right. Another one that I'll throw out that, I, you know, I do, um, I download, make sure I, I, on at least one Mac, I download all my Apple purchased videos uh -huh. and create a backup of those because those are not guaranteed to be licensed for forever. That's so right. People should be aware of that. Like uh, Apple can make that go away. If you still have the file, it will still work. Um, but if you don't have a copy of the file and they've removed it from Apple servers, you're never getting that file back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brian 8944 in our discord at uh, live.macgeekab.com shared a very important uh, add on here, a bit of advice related here. And that is test your backups and make sure you know how to restore because a backup is nothing if you can't, rest it's not a backup if you can't right. restore from it. And I don't mean that it cannot be restored from, that would also call it not a backup. But if you don't know how to restore your backup, it, it is far less valuable to you. You don't want to have to call in help in that moment just because you haven't, you don't know how to restore from your backup. This is something you can test. You can I recommend you do this regularly once every six months, go to your backup, pretend you need to restore a file, go through the motions and every backup is different. Time machine has their thing where you can enter time machine, carbon copy cloner. You just mount the drive and look in the folders you know, if you use something like Backblaze, go online, restore a file by downloading, you know, copying it from their system down to yours just have a working knowledge of that restoration process so that when you are in a panic moment, you're not panicked about that. You're like, ah, I know what to do. I can, I can, you know, I can do this. 